In this video, I want to show you how to lower a video's opacity. You can apply this to images as well. Now, as you can see here, I have this video clip here. I'm going to play this. Nothing much going on here. Now, sometimes you might want to overlay videos and uh, maybe you just want to lower the opacity of the video. Maybe you're adding a logo to this. I want to show you how to do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and import an additional video here. Uh, let's start with the solid color. Let's say that this is our video and I want to add kind of like a blue background color to this. Okay, so I'm going to use this right here, the sample color. I'm going to click drag and I'm going to drop this on my timeline. Uh, let me go ahead and move this around. I'll add another video track here. I'll move this higher than uh, the uh, picture here. All right. Now, as you can see here, how this works is Fumora is going to show you just with any timeline, it's going to show you what is above, what is on the top uh, track here. Okay. Now, if I wanted to see a glimpse of what's on the bottom, that's when you have to uh, lower the opacity. So I'm going to select the top clip, which is a clip, this clip that you see on the screen here. Double click on it. And you're going to go to uh, these properties here. So you want to go under video and uh, within video, you want to go over to basic and you want to scroll all the way down until you find um, uh, compositing or I mean uh, opacity, which is under compositing here. So if I close this, let me close everything so you guys can see uh, the menus that you have. There's transform and then there's compositing. Go ahead and make sure that this is uh, turned on and click the drop down. You're going to see uh, a couple of things here. You're going to see. Uh, the opacity which is down here you're also going to see a blending mode here uh, which is another option but for this video i want to show you how to lower the opacity you want to make sure that the video is selected and you can lower the opacity here now you can start seeing the video that is in the background here just because we're lowering the opacity of this uh, top video now if this was the opposite let's see i'm going to uh, put this below this and uh, let me put the opacity back at 100 percent i'll double click the blue color Double click on that and I will lower the opacity of this. You can see that as we lower the opacity, you're going to start seeing what's underneath that video. Now, this works a lot when people have logos that they want to add to their videos. Let me go ahead and delete that. Move this up here. Let me go ahead and import uh, what looks like a logo here, right? Let's say this is uh, my logo here and I want to add it on top of my video as a watermark, right? What I would do is let me extend this to match fit the entire video. I'll double click on the logo and I'll go over here to the preview screen. And as you can see, I want to be able to adjust the size of this, right? Or you can uh, you can um, go to transform and you can change uh, the scale here, right? Let's say I want to maybe make it this big and I will put it up here. Let's make it a little smaller, put it right here. Now, what a lot of people like to do is if I scroll down here, you can lower the opacity here right, to where you can still see the logo, but it's not um, as distracting as it is at 100 percent. Right. Let's do like maybe like 60 percent, right? 60 percent. You can still still see the logo here. This is kind of like a watermark, right, where you can still see through it, but um, it's you can know that it's there because it's visible. OK, the opacity is just lowered uh, a little more than the other footage. All right. Now, that is pretty much it for this video. I wanted to show you guys how you can uh, lower uh, the opacity of a video or image, which is pretty useful when it comes to adding overlays in terms of logos or just anything, really. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.